Well, Sarah Fillier winds up being the first overall pick of the 2024 PWHL draft. As we welcome you in, it's our TSN hockey analyst, Cheryl Pounder. And not really a huge surprise to see Sarah Fillier go first no. overall. In fact, not a surprise at all. We've been talking about it all year. Maybe a bit of a surprise to see Claire Thompson go third. Not a knock on the player that she is, but we haven't seen her in a while. She's enrolled in medical school. It's just been a while since we've seen her on the ice. Yeah, and what it does is it opened up the door for Boston to take Hannah Bilka. And for a team like Boston, who is at the basement in terms of their goal production, you know that this is a gift. And you want entertaining, highlight real player? It is Hannah Bilka. I mean, she's written all over it. She can be a power play specialist. But watch her edge work and the way she can manipulate her opponent because she can just create, right? She's one of those players where the puck is on a string when it is on her blade. So you'll want to keep your eyes on her, and she certainly will be electric in Boston. But it also opened up the door for a player like Kayla Barnes, who I believe was the best defender on the market, to go to a team like Montreal. Now all of a sudden they've got a back end with Ambrose and Tabin that can move the puck to someone like Poulin. But when I look at someone like Kayla Barnes, I say to myself, listen, she's a shutdown defender. She protects the middle of the ice. She pushes to the outside, and she plays hard. I mean, she boxes out. She is tough on the cycle. She's hard below the goal line, and she can also manipulate the offensive blue line. Right-handed shot defender. Ooh. That's money. That's money. <laughs> That's what you need. We also saw first on the PWHL draft floor tonight, we saw a trade. New York and Boston swap, so Boston could move up and pick seventh. They opt to go with Peshava with that pick. And that's a beautiful pick. Peshava, who plays for Czechia on the international game. And I thought that Carla McLeod might have wanted her. Yeah. And so this might have been a bit of a, a disruptor. But you think of the, the minutes that Megan Keller plays. Now all of a sudden you've got Peshava, who is a real physical player, who again can protect the middle of the ice. This is a physical game. It is a different game game for a lot of these athletes. Now Peshava is on the back end, a real solid player who is going to change the dimension and the lineup for this Boston team. And you also have to look at Ottawa. They got the back end that they needed. They got Savalainen. And for a team that just solidified Boyd and Terralova again with extensions, now all of a sudden they've got that rangy defender who can play in front of the net on the power play. But at 5'9", she's got that stick. She's got good leverage. She can push. But I think for them, it was all about a physical player. And they're going to get it with Savalainen line in and maybe they can protect those one goal games now that they gave up down the stretch right. that didn't get them to the playoffs. Okay now you have to take your Cheryl Pounder analyst hat off okay, and off. put your personal Pounder pick hat on. You played you've been around the game for a long time. Any players that went tonight that meant a little bit more to you? Megan Carter. No question about it. And I think back to the multiple years she spent at the Strictly Hockey Hockey hey, School with Becky Keller. And I, let's just put it this way. She's going to Toronto. We'll be watching because you have a vested interest when you've watched her from such a young age. But she's such a, a strong skater. She's hard. She's physical. She's cerebral. She pro provides all of the elements that you'd want in this league from a defender. But when I look at her, I remember one of the last times she came to her hockey school. I remember saying to Keller, Keller, she's got a demo the drills because we were D and we can't do it as well as her so get her out there so we always had her an asterisk beside her name and she made it so uh, a huge congratulations to her whole family yeah, and congratulations to all the players who were selected in the second ever PWHL draft we're excited to see what they bring to the ice come November